back to back update and information as it is hot. Uh, in case you have not joined our social media handle, please kindly go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I want to uh, plead with you as you are watching our video, please kindly like and comment. Uh, it will help this video to go viral. I will not be the only one watching it. That is the only way you can help us to make this channel grow better. I know this is your channel and my channel and you love to be here. Don't touch the dial. Let's go down to the information of the day as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile released another bombshell. <laughs> I want to sing one song before I go begin the information. As it is with us. It depend them 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 as it is with us. He depend them as he de sweet or someone he depend them. <laughs> I want to laugh in Chinese and Ching Chong, uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic, government in exile, and the person of um, His Royal Highness, Master Simon Epa, Chief uh, Njoku Onyobodo. Waka Mama Waka Nemesi, Atakata Baware, and Anakata Bernabo, and Anna Bwebwe. On our taji. Okay, uh, according to the information on my table now, I am right reading from you from Mars Simon Eba's Twitter uh, X handle, formerly known as Twitter. And this is the information of the day. He is just commenting and talking about his uh, the petition he filed to the uh, European Union concerning the Biafra referendum, alerting the European Union. Uh, to divide Nigeria and save the lives of the masses and allow um, the Biafrans to go. And um, I will be reading out to you from what uh, the European Union have also replied him concerning the letter. So I'll be reading out to you so that you can see the discussion uh, between Mazi, Simon, Eba and, Europe, and the European Union, the outcome of that letter. Even though... Um, uh, Master Simon Eba said he knows that filing that position does not fall under the jurisdiction uh, of the European Union activities uh, and the modus of operandi, but he is doing that to create awareness all over the world that there is a people like Biafra. And um, you can see such wisdom, such uh, magnificent wisdom, a man who God has endowed uh, with deep wisdom and the way he does his things. I think I'm. Um, uh, I'm still be with that and amazed at the steps and means by which uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Marcy Simon Eba, is taking his steps. Let's go down to that information so that you can see as the court. He said, break him. I am now reading from uh, Simon Eba's ex-handle, formerly known as Twitter. Whatever I'm reading now is what he has written on his um, Twitter handle. He said, Please find attached. Please find attached a letter from the chair of the petition committee. I wish to share with my country, people of Biafra, today communication from the chair of the European Parliament petition committee. I am of the know that the petition fall outside the European Union Parliament. I only lodged the petition to create Biafra awareness within the parliament because of what is common, what, what is to come. That, that particular mandate and target has been achieved. That you, the chair of the petition committee, continue to remind me the reason the petition was not addressed. On the petition, I called on the European Union to join and dissolve Nigeria to save lives. Of course, I am aware that the European Union can't do that. As the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, I promise not to keep Biafrans in dark, that I will continue to bring evidence of step-by-step -step road to Biafra and what we are doing and how we are doing it. After Finland Biafra self-referendum convention, we will let hell loose for self-preservation freedom meanwhile now uh, i also you can check your screen uh, you will see this letter on your screen but let me read out 
uh, what was written on the letter. And chair committee of petition uh, committee on petition D twenty two seven two nine zero four ten twenty twenty three Brussels. Mr. Simon Eba Finlandi. Subject Petition Number zero five two one slash twenty twenty three. Dear Mr. Eba. Thank you for submitting your petition to the European Parliament, which the Committee on Petition has now, uh, which the Committee on Petition has now examined. Unfortunately, I must inform you that we are unable to pursue your petition any further. Your petition was declared inadmissible by the Committee on Petition on the 27th June 2023 because the issue you raised was deemed to fall outside. European Union fields of activity. Although we are unable to take your petition further, I would like to thank you for exercising your right to petition. Sincerely, Dolores Monsurati, Chair, Committee on Petition. Now, Article 227 on the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union State. Any citizen of the Union and any natural or legal person residing or having its registered office in member state shall have the right to address individual or in association with the citizens or persons a petition to the European Parliament on a matter which comes within the union fields of activity and which affect, affects him or her it, or, or it directly. Your petition will now be filed in accordance with the Article 226 of our Rules of Procedure. Petitions declared inadmissible by the committee shall be filed. The petitioner shall be informed of the decision and the reasons for it. Where possible, alternative means of redress may be recommended. Now, um, this is the, the response uh, of the European Union to uh, the letter, uh, the petition that was filed by the uh, by Marzi, uh, Simon Eba, and even though he said that he knows that that's, uh, that that was going to be the outcome of that petition because um uh, that petition does not fall uh, in the category of the European Union uh, area of activities. Uh, but he said that he did that um, in order to create awareness uh, to let the European Union also uh, to know what is going on. And um, he gets this saying where he says, uh, uh, My friend, I foretell you, uh, say that one a bad friend. Uh, but if you say, My friend, say, did I tell you before, say this thing will happen like this? So uh, they say that one a good friend. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to relate this, uh, this, my proverbs, uh, to what I just read to you so that, um, I saw you be able, uh, one few books, I can ask on your team, you know, and I have to go to the house. I have to go to the house. I have to go to the house. I have to go to the to the house. I have to go to the I to uh, let their children to know the culture and also the, the, the lingua of their people. Uh, they will not start calling their language vernacular. <laughs> uh, there is this woman they call one Yocha on Facebook. They live, uh, I think they live in Switzerland with the husband. Uh, that guy has done so much whereby uh, inculcating African tradition and especially the Igbo tradition in the life of his white lady, the white lady that she, he's marrying, uh, that is coming from uh, uh, Switzerland. That woman is typically an Igbo woman now. She speaks Igbo. In fact, uh, all the decoration in her house in, in, in Switzerland is done with African materials. 
And even when she gave birth to her children, she normally used an African rapper for everything. Uh, this is what a man did. You know, when you everything is dependent on how uh, you present it to people. How you present your family to people is how they are going to take it. How you present yourself to people is how they are going to address you. How you present your country to people is how they are going to take it. And also, how you present your tradition, your language to other people is how they are going to value it. So, it is your, your work, your, your, your sole uh, uh, responsibility, the onus on you to present your culture, your, 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 your tradition, your language to other people in a way that will be very acceptable to them so that they themselves will cherish your language, cherish your culture, and cherish your tradition. But whereby you make your tradition, your culture, uh, and your language as if it means nothing, as if it's, as if it's an uh, outdated uh, uh, stuff or religion, you see other people will still take it that way. I want to say kudos to everyone out there uh, that is promoting their language, whether you be Igbo, you be Bio, uh, you be Kwara, you be anything, and you are there promoting your language. I say kudos to you, Makanem Wifana. Hello. Mwama <laughs> here. Uh, please don't touch the dial. Remember that this is your channel, my channel, and this is where you need to be. Thank you for listening. God bless you.